Welcome to Falmouth, Jamaica, man. One hour later. There is a dock in Falmouth, Jamaica, so getting in and out of the ship was fairly easy. We didn't have anything planned because of the weather, so let's walk around the port and see what is there to do. We wanted to go to the Dun River Fall and we asked the information lady and she told us that it was going to cost 150 USD to get there and back. I told her 150 USD? I thought it was only 20 minutes away. She told me no, it was going to be at least a 45 minutes drive. As we were walking around, we asked another guy and he told us if you want a good deal on the Dun River Fall, go talk to the lady in the white tent. I told the lady that I only have 165 USD on me and after some negotiation, we agreed on 100 USD for the private tour. Meet Brandon, he was going to be our driver for the next 4 hours. They have mango tree everywhere. to bring you this important message. 1494, when he uh, so discovered Jamaica because there were people living here before, okay? Wow, I didn't know Christopher Columbus were tight back then. Learn something new every day. See, that's the spot where he actually landed out there. That's yeah, uh, right, right, right. And there's uh, actually a replica uh, piece of one of these ships that was wrecked here. Uh -oh. So this is a uh, product of the earth which we had 1500 degree E to it, it turns into alumina okay. and alumina is refined into aluminum. Oh, right, right. We now return to your regular programming. And it's raining again. We gave this lady 40 USD so she can expedite our entrance tickets. As soon as we got through the gate, it stopped pouring down big time. We didn't have a tour guide, so we started walking with the group in front of us. Welcome to Dun River Falls, Jamaica. Let's walk down and see where we can get in the water. Nice and cold, I have to take a dip. Let me give you guys a better view. It is very slippery so make sure you have your water shoes when you come here. Let's go check out the middle of the fall.
You would need a tour guide if you want to navigate from the bottom to the top of the fall. Unfortunately, we didn't have enough time to do that. Let's go check out the top of the fall. You can't go to Jamaica without having jerk chicken, so we asked Brendan to take us to go get some. Say hello to Scotchy. Uh, dark meat's fine, yeah. Dark meat. For her? For her, same thing, too. Watching on the travel channel is one thing, but being here is a different thing. I didn't want to leave. It was my first time trying things. On the way back, we asked Brendan to stop by the Christopher Columbus site so we can explore and take some pictures. Brandon, huh? Hi. Bye bye, Brandon. Thank Take you, sir. Thank you, no, and it's a great pleasure carrying you. Very good. Uh, I look forward to having you some other time. I hope you enjoy the rest of the tour. Right. Right, I don't you. have anything to give you because I'm sorry I use all the money, but do you want this? I can give you right. this one. Yeah. Yeah, I'll take it. Yeah. yeah, here we go. Yeah, so that one, see. yeah. It works well, thank you. It works well. Because you can see it drive out the money. <laughs> yeah, man, that's fine. Don't worry about it. Here. Okay, thank okay. you. No thank problem. you, man. Sorry. Thank you. Thank you. All right. All right. All right. Brennan look a lot like Joe Johnson. Finally, I get to eat my jerk chicken. It was smoky, juicy, and very tender. It does taste like a donut. It tastes similar to Swirt from the US. We got a few minutes to spare, so let me give you guys a quick tour of the Jamaica Coos Port. If you walk straight down, you're gonna see a clock, and to the right of it is Margaritaville, where you can go to grab a drink and a quick dip in the pool. If you walk straight down to the left is the shopping area, to your right is the tent where we went earlier to grab a deal on the private tour to Dunn River Fall. To the left of it is where you go to get out the port. If you walk straight to your right there is a garden area where you can go to take some pictures. Right across from the garden area is the craft market where you can go to buy some souvenir. Oh, Cheap Charlie. If you walk straight down to your right, there's another shopping area.
Bye bye Chimeka, until we meet again.